All right, so as promised, not promised, but as mentioned, I'm going to make a video on the things I ate or eat on a regular basis or semi-regular basis in order to gain weight. Um, I, last year I started out, I'm just, I'm just gonna start now and talk. Um, last year I started out about 115 pounds, 110, that was like last December, um, so, and now I weigh about 150, um, it was a, clearly it was a longer process, um, I tried the epitamin, um, that thing, that phase did not last, I only took it once, um, yeah i'll go i'll go more into that some other time but what we're making today is a breakfast bowl so i'm using turkey i'm gonna use one egg um and two potatoes one red and one yellow i grabbed these because russet potatoes are so big okay. so yeah i'm just gonna be cubing these up you guys hopefully are cooking with me cooking whatever you like but this is just breakfast um i may throw in if i'm like i'm not feeling too hungry today but i still might throw in a croissant um one another thing i just want to add this in before i continue any further i do not count my calories like i don't have a calorie tracker i am just aware of what things hold more calories than others I tried it once and it just wasn't a healthy thing for me. Let's then do that. Ooh, do I want cheese? Yeah, why not? So I like to cut my cheese up. I'm not throwing it, I'm not throwing it. Okay, so what we're doing, good lord good glory um so what i'm doing is throwing all of this minus the cheese in a pan with some oil and just letting it cook like get a nice char a nice little brown color um my main concern is the meat because the potatoes are cooked already and of course at the end i'm gonna throw in the egg and scramble it oh look at me not paying attention one thing that's really fun about this quarantine is that I actually have time to cook. And this is an inexpensive thing that has helped me gain weight. Like before, I'm gonna be real, like I could eat a banana and then be good for over half the day because I just wasn't hungry. There's just some people who just aren't hungry, you know? And they wanna gain weight, they're just not hungry. I was just one of those people. Um, and I tried like, a few times I'm gonna cut these up a little smaller the potatoes I tried a few times like on the weight gain trend like trying to force myself to eat 2,500 calories in a day when like I said I would only eat a banana it may be a little bowl of macaroni or something and then be good for the entire day and that would barely even be hitting 500 calories so people never talk about with gaining weight is that it's literally a gradual process um a lot of women on here uh men too maybe you can but in my experience a lot of women say okay well you need to eat 2500 to 3000 calories in order to gain weight and in my personal experience that's not necessarily true because if you're just level with me if you naturally on a regular basis eat 500 calories and then you're full i it just makes sense to me that if you gradually okay i'm gonna eat 600 and then i'm gonna eat seven and then eight and then nine and then work your way up to that you're still gonna be gaining weight because at the 500 level you were maintaining the weight that you have you weren't losing you weren't gaining you're just maintaining it because that's just how your body worked or mine personally so 
the more calories that you eat, whether it's a hundred more or like 300 more, you're gonna be gaining. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. That's just, I don't know. I just feel like you can gain weight gradually without trying to force yourself to eat 2,500 when you're used to only eating like 500. And that was me. I was watching these women and they were saying, you need to eat 3,000 calories a day in order to gain weight. Um, but it never talks about like how much they never talked about how much they ate prior to doing that on a regular basis. So, oh yeah, one thing that's fun about quarantine is the cooking part because you can play with your spices and stuff and then just, you can make the same recipe taste 10 different ways just by the spices. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's not even true. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know, but I just feel like that makes the most sense. It's on a low heat now, so it's not gonna burn, and I'm I'm watching it. I'm gonna add my spices, and I'm using garlic powder. I don't know if y'all can see that. Anyway, it's great value. I should I should invest in a different one because great value is not the best. Somebody came over, like I had somebody a guest over, and they bought this for their seafood. Um, it's actually pretty good. Cajun seasoning and then whoop, I'm adding in Creole seasoning and then I'm going to add in zesty lemon you, you can't see that it's the glare sorry it's zesty lemon seasoning by Weber all right sorry I was checking an email all right so I keep pausing and starting this story I woke up one day and I went to sleep, woke up one day and I was like so angry at myself. Hold on. I'm about to deglaze the pan, which just means you're going to add in a liquid, a stock, water, I'm adding water to get the, the good stuff from the bottom of the pan. Just a splash. I'm not scraping. It just release that stuff from the bottom of the pan. Anyway, I keep rambling on. I woke up and I was so angry at myself because I was like, I didn't hit the 2,500. I didn't hit the 3,000. I didn't even get close because I had a long day. I was tired. I didn't like, I, I was at like 1,700 or something like that. And I was so pissed off. I was pissed because I was like, I felt defeated. I felt like, yeah, that's the best word. I felt defeated by myself. Like, yeah. And then, like five minutes later, that's when I realized, all right, this is turning into an unhealthy habit. And I had been doing it for like a week. So since then, I just, no longer count my calories this looks really good let me show you if you have some fresh onion uh, that looks like an onion like a little glazed little onion look at that sizzle this looks really good it's not done yet though but yeah um so now i just i do just eat um but I eat things, I don't count the calories, I just eat what I know has calories. Like I know that a croissant has more calories than a piece of toast, so I might go for a croissant over a piece or two of toast, you know? Um, I know that a banana has more calories than a strawberry, so I might, like you see that? Like a sparkle or something. Anyway. Just irritating me. Also, I was wanting to gain weight for the wrong reason. I'm cracking the egg and then placing it right in the middle, and then I'm gonna scramble it, add some seasonings on top, and then we'll be done. Because I have a meeting in 10 minutes.
I wanted to gain weight because other people wanted me to gain weight. And I wasn't happy. That's just like a tip that like you don't have to, that's just a tip. You don't have to force yourself, at least in my experience, you should try it. You don't have to force yourself to eat 2,500 calories if you're not used to eating even close to that amount. And that's with a lot of people, men and women, and any human, like, you can't just, you can, but it's not healthy to just force yourself to eat because you can make yourself sick. And that's what I did. Like I said, like, I would try to force myself to eat two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and I was literally stuffing it in my mouth in order to, like, get those calories in. And I wasn't happy. But now, like, I actually enjoy, now that I'm not counting them, I'm just aware, I actually enjoy eating. Like, it's fun. It's fun to cook. It's fun to play around with seasonings. It's fun to just know that, all right, I'm, I'm already full because I ate something that I know in my head, I'm not counting, I just know in my head that these are enough calories or these were more calories than what I could have eaten. Hopefully that makes sense. That's just a tip. You don't have to force yourself. If you're not used to eating a certain amount, don't. Just work your way up to it. Kind of like, kind of like working out. Working out like, I don't work out. I, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, I don't work out. But if you can't just jump into it, you can, but you're gonna hurt yourself. Like if you just start doing a full, <laughs> full body exercise and all you were doing for 20 something years of your life is walking, like you're gonna strain yourself. And that's what I was doing. So. Yes, with the eating, it's the same thing. You gotta like gradually work up to this. At least that's what I had to do. And it was a longer process. Like I just realized that I hit 150 when I went to my mom's and I stepped on a scale. I was like, but I wasn't even looking. Like I don't have a scale because I also think that that's just gonna be an unhealthy thing for me. But I was just curious. I was curious because, not because I was tracking my weight, but because I was tracking the way that I looked. Like, my boobs were growing, like, my face is a lot fuller, like, thighs, booty, like, arms. That's one thing I did notice, it was, like, my arms were a lot, they used to be, like, like, you could, like, like a pinky <laughs> together and, like, grasp my wrist, like, in touch can't do that anymore I was just noticing changes in my body and I was like let me I'm bored let me see and then I saw I was 150 and I'm like wow like I wasn't even trying and I think that's that's like the fun in it when you're not trying and then you just wake up one day and you see you look in the mirror you step on the scale just randomly and you're like wow like that's dope now let me just keep it going and not even let me just put that weight that number to the back of my head and focus on what i want to see when i look in the mirror so i don't know those are just my tips i let me just sum it up because my food is done um oh so what i did i put the egg in there scrambled it and then i put the cheese right on top turn the eye off and put the lid on and just wait and then the cheese will melt it can still go i'm probably gonna let it go a little longer so you can either leave it on the eye depending on how hot the eye was um like how high it was mine was like a four or five when i was scrambling the eggs it cooks really quickly but i'm gonna take it off just for safety you never know turn the handle away from you so you don't knock it over and just let it go let it melt all right, so I'm gonna stop this video, but to sum up what I said, gradually work your way up. At least, at least try it. Like, if you are forcing yourself 
like you have to force yourself you're dreading eating just try to work your way up to those if you do decide to count your calories work your way up if you're not counting your calories work your way up to bigger portions um, my other tip would be enjoy it play with your spices play with your recipes check out other people's recipes um, just have fun like you want to enjoy what you're eating like you don't want to eat the same thing every day change it up like if you love peanut butter and jelly try peach preserves try I don't know Nutella or something I don't, I don't know. Nutella and strawberry sandwich last tip would be instead of focusing on the number try focusing on instead of because let me let me say this when I was 115 and I gained five pounds I didn't see a difference in my body like at all probably because it was just evenly distributing so I just I looked the same try focusing on the differences that you notice in your body like oh my my pants like my favorite jeans they don't fit no they don't fit anymore that, that's one thing about gaining weight you're gonna need to get a whole new wardrobe so that's that can be something to look forward to but focus on the changes in your body like oh my clothes they're a little tight oh like my thighs are rubbing together that's different like just notice little things like you will notice them I wouldn't say like track them or like with measuring tape or anything but if you want to that is your business that is your business that's your body but I say just I don't know notice little things because when you with me I gained weight so unexpectedly I noticed those things I noticed that my especially my underwear like that I had to buy completely uh, I had to go a size up so yeah I don't know those are just my tips I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna come back and all right I'm back and it is 7 15 I just got out of the shower I forgot to record my lunch um, so I'll, I'll just tell you what I had I had a croissant and I had let me grab it now I had one of these chow mein meals if you're curious it's 480 calories and it's really good I also throw a little butter in there because there's a sauce packet and whatnot so yeah all right so now we're gonna have again another noodle we're gonna have pasta for dinner um, the noodles are already cooked um, I had already boiled them so that's good to go So I turned the heat down for this because I'm going to speak up because it's a little loud because mint anything burns really quickly because it's mint. So I'm not cooking this until the meat gets a char. What I'm doing is I'm just cooking it, getting it warm, and then I'm going to add the sauce in with some seasonings. Pick whatever seasonings you want. It's going in your mouth, in your stomach. So, yeah. All right. I gained weight, but I'm not strong. Ugh. My hands are slippery. There we go. So I'm just gonna dump this right in the pan. really quick quick recipe like I said add your own spices add your own seasonings um, I'm gonna add some Creole seasoning just a little bit and let's see what do I have in here literally whatever you have just grab it and add it in like 
Let me double chin. <laughs> um, I already added in minced garlic, so I'm not adding in garlic powder. You can, I wouldn't, I'm not going to add in oregano because I feel like that's for red sauces. I'm not going to add in the crushed red peppers because Elijah's eating it. So, let's see. Can I just have Creole seasoning in there? I have this uh, Chicago steak seasoning. Why not? Sure. Alright. So, like I said, you want your flavors to get to know each other. You don't want... I'm not sure if this will count, but I know you have to cook out your seasonings a lot of the time. So, I learned that ooh, from my mom and from Food Network. This looks really good to me. So, we're also having broccoli on the side, so it's not just a plain, plain meal. This is the pasta we're using. It is a vegetable pasta. Elijah just turned the light on. But this is the pasta. Hello. Yes, I do get the store brand because why not? Who's going to check me? Nobody. Um, oh, I also forgot... Hold on, before I finish, let me turn this light off because it's making a weird glare. Before I forget, I'm going to add some, I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn the heat down. You see, when it gets like this, you want to turn the heat down. You don't want it to burn. You do not want it to burn. And how I made the noodles is I put them in water. No, I brought the water to a boil then put them in no I didn't brought it brought the water to a boil put some oil in the water as well as salt so that your noodles are not sticking that's the trick a little bit of oil Ooh, yeah that looks good looks like a mushroom sauce Oh, so what I'm adding next is Parmesan. Opening the big side. Refrigerate your Parmesan after opening, guys. Refrigerate. That's quite a bit. I don't measure my ingredients. Um, you don't need to measure your ingredients unless you're baking. In the Martin opinion. Just do it to taste. And this is a really quick, really quick meal. I'm adding more Parmesan because I love Parmesan. Let those flavors get to know each other. And then we will come back. I just want to say really quick, if you want to get the excess out of here, which I'm about to do right now, and put it in the pan, all you have to do is get a milk product. I, well, you could use water, but I suggest getting a milk product since this is a milk product like of any sort. And then shake it up. Let me show you. All right, so I got my little milk product in here. I just added some <laughs> no flavor almond milk. Put it in here, shake it up to get the stuff off the sides. And like you can even you can't really tell actually you can how like it was it's more translucent because it's coming off the walls <laughs> oh I'm not left-handed I'm not ambidextrous hey oh Elijah wants up I just want to say really quick that um, I didn't just eat that breakfast bowl, the croissant, the um, chow mein, and I think that's about it. I didn't just eat that. I also, to cleanse the palate, I also had some strawberries and like a bowl of applesauce. Another thing, another tip about weight gain, what you want to do 
something that people I have not heard anybody mention this you want to make you want to make sure that you are not constipated I know like we we about to eat I know but just hear me out that you're holding on to excess weight which is the waste I know you don't want to think about that because we're about to eat we about we're about to dive in but you don't want to discourage yourself by stepping on the scale if that's what you do stepping on the scale or looking in the mirror and seeing excess bloat and you're like like you're either like yay I'm gaining I gained five pounds or you're like eh, I have excess bloat try using the bathroom try getting a probiotic eating some roughage roughage can be salad it can be apples I eat applesauce um, or have a salad I don't <laughs> normally eat yogurt but if that's what you like then do that but make sure that your intestines are clear so you're so you get an accurate weight and an accurate depiction of what you are weighing and what you look like just a little a little tip okay I was thinking this morning, since I missed lunch yesterday, I missed filming what I did, I'm going to film another breakfast option. So yeah, one that will fill you up. So we're just going to have a breakfast sandwich. Instead of bread, we're using croissants. Um, I just like croissants more. They do cost more in the store. But if you do count calories, they do have more calories than two slices of bread. So, one of them. One croissant has more calories than two slices of bread. Alright. So. These are the croissants we'll be using. So, what we're going to do is cut this croissant open. Be very gentle, and you're going to cut and rotate. 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 Boom. And if you want to add, like, it's your sandwich, so if you want to add a condiment, mayo, if you want to add ketchup, add ketchup. If you want to add ranch, add ranch. I don't add anything on here um if i'm feeling feisty or spicy i might just put some butter on it like i'm gonna have put some butter on it um turn my oven on broil on low broil and that'll be my condiment because we're frying it You want just enough oil to coat the bottom. I just crack it on the counter and then put it in the pan instead of cracking it on the side of the pan because the pan might flip and that's dangerous. Don't nobody got time for that. So, yeah, crack it on your counter, then wash your counter after you're done. And after you're done holding the egg, wash your hands. Wash your hands first and then wash the counter. This is what your egg should be looking like. I'm and what you're gonna do, watch carefully, you're gonna bring, bring this yolk down and drag it. You wanna break the yolk. I waited a little too long to do this so it's not as runny, um, but I'm pulling it out. I may even turn my temperature down a little more if you start seeing the edges browning really quickly we are about to flip so get your metal spatula or aluminum aluminum or stainless steel whatever spatula you got wiggle it it should be able to wiggle if you use enough oil it shouldn't be sticking lift and flip I want I may even press down on it a little bit the experts say don't do that but I am no expert this is my food so that's that so on the side, I'm going to be having um, applesauce 
because it's light and applesauce. If you're curious, it is 100 calories I checked for a cup. And a cup is not that much. And you could literally take a straw and drink applesauce if you want. The applesauce I have is cinnamon. Um, if you like unsweetened, I checked in the store, it's 50 calories for a cup. So that's just if you're curious. Um, and like I said earlier, applesauce for me, my skin looks really nice. Applesauce for me helps to cleanse the palate and also aids in filling me up and also aids in digestion. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the egg. This is what it looks like. I'm going to flip it again. The first flip is always the hardest. Oh, bruh. It's trying to film and cook is hard. I need a tripod. Flip. See the yolk is completely cooked through. So this is what it's looking like. I just took a little bit of cheese. Kind of ratchetly cubed it up. Put the top on. And, ooh, look. We're gonna give that cheese a chance to melt. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't recommend putting a lot of cheese in your food, at least on top, um, especially if you're like trying to eat more than one thing. Cause like I said, I'm trying to eat this sandwich and I'm trying to eat applesauce. So I only put a little bit of cheese so I'm not as full as if I would have put like four ounces of cheese on top. So I don't know, just, just my opinion my opinion I either just drink water or I'll have some orange juice it really depends on the mood today I'm having orange juice so yeah I'm just I'm just feeling it but on a regular basis I just drink water with some ice yeah so, there's that if you're curious so this is what my breakfast is looking like there's the applesauce sandwich and this is a chocolate a triple chocolate muffin from Walmart and if you are curious one whole muffin has 350 calories that's just if you're curious this is what it looks like um I'm going to come back and make another video on how to gain weight on a budget grocery style like what I buy etc and yeah so if you enjoyed this video look forward to checking that out Alright, so, hope you enjoy. Eat up, you guys. Bye.